Other than a leaky boot, I'm excited to be in here today. I just discovered that, amen? <laughs> but it's all right. Uh, we celebrate today autumn and uh, Brooklyn's salvation through Jesus Christ. Amen. We're very excited amen. about their uh, turning their life over to Christ today. We want to read scripture uh, about baptism, and then autumn's going to come first. Uh, Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 3, verse 15, that it fulfills all righteousness from God the Father for him to be baptized. So he set the example of baptism for us. And so continually in the Bible, you're going to read where it says, Repent and be you baptized. If you have been baptized today, but you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you're out of order in God's intentions. His intentions are for you to be saved first. And then baptism is a symbol of that salvation. Amen? Amen. It says, Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God ascending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm <clears throat> well pleased. And so Jesus pleased the Father by being obedient to him uh, to be baptized. And over in the book of Romans, it explains uh, baptism a little bit further. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 said, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know you not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so also we should walk in newness of life. For if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dies no more, death has no more dominion over him. Died, he died in once, but our Lord. And also, as, as an addition, to make sure that you understand the reason that we uh, immerse is when you say the word baptism, it means to be immersed, it means to be put under uh, the water. And that's also an obedience to what. God's Word says, and when you read all Scripture about baptism, every time it will tell you when they came up out of the water. So there's your example of baptism. Amen? Amen. All right, come on, Miss Autumn. Both these girls are nose holders, so we're ready to go. Look at all the people who love you out there. Amen. Amen. You ready? Autumn, by your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. 